Yo. Hey man, what's good, y'all? I'm coming to show with another Fergus video today. And before we hop into today's video, I hope y'all feeling good, looking good, smelling good. Hope y'all having an amazing day today, you feel me? Hope y'all had some delicious tea today too, gang. You know what I'm saying? Your boy Trout starts on the same routine as always. Wake up, shower, record, be depressed, record, upload. That's my life. But now I just play, man. You know your boy Trout started doing good, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the love and support y'all giving me. We is on the way to that 10K, so please hit that subscribe button. We just want to go to 10K. I want to hit it before the end of this month. I feel like we can do it. I feel like we can do it. Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's push through, baby. Come on. Come on. But I'm just playing, man. I hope y'all doing good, man. And as y'all can tell by today's title on thumbnail, I'm going to be coming at y'all with the truth about the most hyped fragrances. Now, let me just say this. If you hear about a fragrance a lot, more than likely you'll hear about it in this video, okay? Now, sometimes I feel like fragrances be getting unnecessary hate. And sometimes I'll be, I'll be feeling like fragrances get unnecessary, like, underration. Is that even a word? Sometimes fragrances are underrated when they shouldn't even be. You feel me? That, but that's just how life is, isn't it? But in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the most popular fragrances. I'm going to be giving y'all the truth about them. And then, do I think they're most, do I think they're overhyped or do I think they're underhyped? You know what I'm saying? Just give me y'all my truth about them. You feel me? But, um, yeah, without further ado, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all doing good. And, um, yeah, without further ado, I know y'all ready. I know I'm ready. Let's get straight to it, gang. They go. All right, gang, the first up fragrance I want to talk about, and that is the most hype fragrance in today's society. I smell like money and Baccarat. You know what I'm saying? That Baccarat, bottom, Baccarat Rouge, five, four, three. Yeah. Nope. I want to visit Italy one day just to eat up all their food. That's it. I ain't gonna lie. Eat up all that spaghetti, then take that some of that shit back to America. You feel me? Is Baccarat even French, or is it? I don't know what it is, but gang, I don't even know if y'all know this, but Baccarat was made by a young perfumer. And look how this nigga took over the world, bro. Look how he took over the world. He got rappers rapping about it. Yeah, I smell like Baccarat, but the blood still must. He got rappers over spraying it. I do a whole bottle. They smell you when they see. It's just crazy, bro. And I just, it's just a huge inspiration. You feel me? Like, dang, he young. He did it. Look how he took over the world. Shit, one day I want to do it too, gang. But gang, Baccarat Rouge 540 has to be the most. What I say is overhyped. I wouldn't say it's overhyped because it delivers. But I will say it's over, it's overused. It's overused. I feel like it's time for something new, bro. That shit, Baccarat is like, we need to leave that in 2020 slash 2021. We need to leave that, bro. I go like, like using it every now and then, you feel me? But game, Baccarat, cause bro, when you go down, I live in Atlanta, bro. When you go downtown, all you smell when you go past clubs, when you go past these plus twenty one age buildings, all all I smell is Baccarat. It's crazy. You can smell that shit through the car. You can smell it all in the air. It is crazy, bro. Like I even used to have an auntie that used to wear Baccarat all the time, but she even switched it up to Valentino because she got tired of that junk, bro. That Valentino is good, though. I ain't gonna lie. If you a female or you got a girlfriend, get your girl Valentino. That's good. But I ain't gonna lie, Baccarat is overused, gang. It's it's too heavily overused, bro. It's I think it's mainly because of where I live at. I live in a popular city. But then again, Baccarat is that safe muff you can pull out. Whenever you just want to be safe, compliant, you feel me? You want to be a nose pleaser. You know you're going to be in a place where you want to take over the room sometimes. And you want to make sure your scent stays lingering around. Because I said this about Baccarat. Baccarat is unique, okay? Baccarat has a has a weak scent. Like a like a small scent. But the performance, the, like, it's strong, though. Like, the scent is small, but, like, the scent is weak, but the performance is strong. What? No, 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 no. This is what I mean. The scent is subtle. The scent is subtle, but the performance on it is strong. That's exactly what I mean. But with the fragrance like that, it just becomes so versatile. Like you can literally wear it anywhere. Like you can wear it to a damn funeral. You feel me? Like if you just put on the proper amount of sprays, you can literally wear this anywhere you want. What? I think I'm doing something. <laughs> My bad, y'all. Excuse me. But um, yeah, Baccarat. I feel like it deserves everything it gets credit for. You feel me? I feel like it is that motherfucker and it's been, it's, it, it, it holds up to the standard. Like, you know how somebody be talking shit like, oh, I, when I see you, I'ma pull up and I'ma blast on your way. Hey, that shit pull up and it's and it do everything it talk about. It do everything it's hyped about, you feel me? But then you got some people that disagree with it, some people that don't disagree, don't agree with it. 
I, I, I fuck with Baccarat. I fuck with Baccarat, but I just wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't honestly wouldn't buy it again. If I do, I get a clone. But it just paying 300 for a full, I'm good, bro. I'm good, game. So yeah, for me, the truth about Baccarat is, it is a very overused fragrance, but it deserves all the hype it gets. It deserves all the credit, it deserves everything. Cause it lives up to a standard. All right, next up, we got Lamal Elixir. Now this is another very high fragrance, okay? Lamal Elixir is, I feel like it's the most hated in the community. Cause I, I feel like everybody just has this narrative that all young kids have it. Oh, young, like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas with 25 and younger, you gonna smell like a kid. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the smell is very youthful because of, that's just, that's just the aroma. As you can tell by the bottle, like this wants to be seen, this is very bold. Like the bottle even lets you know what you're getting into. The bottle lets you know that this doesn't like to be, you know what I'm saying? This likes to stand out. Like, you know what's so crazy? I literally sent someone a picture of my collection and they said, well, what's that gold bottle? Like this bottle is just not scared to stand out. And that comes, and that's exactly what comes with this scent. When you walk into a room, they gonna instantly be hit with that honey, that vanilla, that it's just the, the room gonna be hit with this aroma. And then when it finally, when all eyes set on you, then you realize that motherfucker is the true game. Cause I ain't gonna lie, walking through a house party with this on game, that changed my whole perspective with this, bro. Oh, bro, you smell like a whole dessert and a fucking, a fucking, a bad bitch. <laughs> That's what you smell like, gang. But I ain't gonna lie. Lamal Elixir? It, see, look, this is how I feel about Lamal Elixir. It can be used as a unisex fragrance. I could buy something like that for my mama or my girl. You feel me? Because it's, it's just, it's so sweet. If we didn't know what Lamal Elixir was and we just seen it in a clear bottle, just a, a small clear bottle, we'll say this is a perfume. You feel me? So that's why I feel like it's not really meant for everybody. It's just meant for sweet, edible lovers. And I love a fragrance that I feel like I could just damn near eat that thing. You feel me? And that's where Lamala Elixir comes in. You feel like if I can damn eat that thing as soon as you walk in the room. And shit, trust me. If, if I know some hoes gonna be there, and I want, and I know I want to get ate up. Damn. <clears throat> shh, shh. You feel me? But yeah, not only does the name live up to it, you know what I'm saying? The name Elixir, the bottle lives up to the name game. Like literally, bold. Everybody's gonna smell you, bold smelling, you feel me? Like, it's just everything about the bottle, it lets you know what you're getting into, bro. So yeah, to me, the truth about Lamala Elixir is another very, very, very hype fragrance, especially TikTok, another overly hated fragrance, I feel like. I feel like it's kind of overhated just because a lot of kids wear it. But I feel like it's a fragrance that should be taken seriously because of the things that it can do. It smells edible, smells like a goodness, it's very bold, takes over the room. It's a good sweet fragrance, gang. If you love sweet, it's a good one for you, bro. All right, next up, gang, I actually want to talk about two fragrances that I feel like are very hyped and the most hyped in their brand. That's to be Sauvage and Sauvage Elixir. Now, in my opinion, if you're not buying either of these two, why? Why, you feel me? Like, Dear Sauvage, I ain't gonna lie, it's, it's, I'm not really gonna talk about this fragrance too long because I've talked about it a lot already and I'm pretty sure y'all done heard about it for a long, long time. But Dear Sauvage is just that safe, cool, compliant fragrance that if you know you're just going to be around people and you want to please people knows this, you feel me? Um, This is just a safe, this is an all around safe fragrance to wear. I ain't gonna lie, it's so safe, it's become boring to me, you feel me? Like, um, I just wear it on occasions where I want to blend in with people, I don't really want to stand out. I just want to be that good smelling, you feel me? Like, um, I might wear this to like family reunions, um, just kicking it with the fam, really. That's really what I do wear this, you feel me? But um, yeah, this fragrance is just like a chill fragrance to me. Um, If you do want to stand out, if you want to be different, I definitely do not recommend Dior Sauvage. Um, I do feel like it gets overhated because of how many people have it. But then again, realistically, not many people are wearing it in today's day. But I feel like that's just what comes with so many people wearing it for so long. You got to realize when a fragrance has been out for forever, a lot of people not going to wear it like that. You feel me? I feel like once Baccarat gets older and older, they're going to find a new fragrance to replace it. You feel me? Just like when Baccarat came out with this was out, even though this is still very heavily used, it, Baccarat replaced this. But yeah, I feel like the truth about Dior Sauvage is it's a very, it's a very overhated fragrance. It's a very overhated fragrance, but it does its job perfectly. Gets me compliments every time I wear it. It lasts pretty much however long I want it to. Depends on my sprays. Um, it just it holds the job down. But with Sauvage Elixir, all I'm saying is, my nigga, I cannot wait to get a full bottle of this, bro, because this. This fragrance was very hype when I used to see on TikTok. Every time I used to open TikTok, I seen Lamal Elixir and I seen Savage Elixir, gang. And I ain't gonna lie, now that I acquired Lamal Elixir, I gotta get this bitch. 
I gotta get this motherfucker. But Savage Elixir definitely does live up to his name. Um, it's pretty different. It's pretty much different, but it's the same. Um, it has some hints of the original Savage in there, but then again, it does its own take. Um, to me, it's a little bit. It's it's more masculine. It's more boss. Like, nigga, I'm nigga, I'm your daddy, nigga. Call me daddy, nigga. Like, it, it gives that energy game. Like, you walk into a room and you demand. Like, you remember that clip of Andrew Tate when he walked in the room? I'm gonna play the clip right here. Bro, can I have a, a iced coffee? Actually, no, a hot coffee. Give me a black coffee and a sparkling water. Like, if I had to think about that and a fragrance to represent that, that is this for sure. You walk in the room, you command your shit. Like, you feel me? Like, nigga, this is my shit now. But Dio Safaja looks is a little bit more sweet, a little bit more masculine. Um, actually, rock, I rock with this, you feel me? Because y'all know, I like to switch it up. I like to switch it up. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bisexual, but I like to switch it up. Sometimes I let go masculine. Sometimes I like to go, you know what I'm saying, a little bit sweet, you feel me? I'm not bisexual. I have nothing against them. But I just like, I like, I like, I like switching it up, you feel me? These are two different vibes, but both are gayest. Gayest, you feel me? But the truth about Savage Elixir, a sweet masculine fragrance, last long, masculine, overtaking the room. Um, a great pleasant scent I think many people will love. And I think these two, I think this one is low-key underrated. I think Savage Elixir is underrated. I think um Savage EDT is overhated. Alright, gang, for my last stuff one, I want to go with y'all with Club Denui Intense Man. Now I only smelled this fragrance like a, like I want to say three times. I actually smelled it one time when I went to Mexico. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the clip right here. I want to put Club Denui one time. Let me clean it. Literally. But gang, like when I smell it, like it's I don't see the hype around it. I don't see the then again, bro. TikTok, they just hype anything. They hype anything. Why do I believe this junk? But literally, like you'll go, you'll go and you'll see this store. You'll be like, oh shit, that's the one I seen on TikTok. That's the one I seen on TikTok. Let me go to spray. You spray it. Mediocre. 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 <laughs> it's mediocre, bro. It's literally mediocre. Like these fragrances they hype on TikTok gang is not all that. That's why I don't say they're on blind by this junk. Like, I ain't gonna lie, the dry down is better. The opening, it smells like straight lemon cleaner. Like you trying to clean your bathroom, you got a lemon scented one and you spray it. That's what that junk smell like. That just smell like lemon cleaner for like the first 15 minutes. It dries down alright. It dries down alright. But everybody around me say I shouldn't buy it. Everybody around me. I mean, y'all know me. If it, if it don't even please me like that, and it don't please nobody around me like that, I'm uninterested. You feel me? I'm just uninterested. A lemon cleaner fragrance that just nobody likes. I don't know. It do last a pretty good time. It do last a pretty good time because I was in that heat, and it was staying on my skin. It stayed on my skin for sure. It stayed longer than some of them um Bond number nines I had sprayed that day. But it stayed on my skin though. For thirty dollars, I ain't gonna lie. The performance is good, but I ain't gonna lie, that's a fragrance I would literally just give to somebody. That's not a fragrance I would buy for myself. Um, that's a fragrance I would give to somebody that's, that I know that's gonna be like working in the heat or like working outside. Like one of my homeboys that's working at the water park, I'll probably get at the him or something, you feel me? Like I would, I just wouldn't buy that for myself. I just wouldn't buy it for me. It doesn't fit me for real, it just, it ain't me. But yeah, the truth about Club New Year Intense, man, it's not all that. It's not all that that they make it seem to be. It's just not all that gang. I don't see it. Um, it's a lemon cleaner for the first 15 minutes after the dry down is cool. But it's just, it's not all that, that it's hyped to be. And for my last up spot, I want to say Dior Fahrenheit. Now, I want to say this fragrance isn't hyped at all. I just want to put it on this list because I want to talk shit about it. This fragrance is the most bitch made fragrance in the fucking world. I'm going to sing that shit to hell. That fragrance, if you, if you wear that fragrance, when I see you, what's up, nigga? When I see you, what's up? Oh, everything I love. Oh, everything I love. I'm, I don't, I'm gonna die trying. I will die trying to kill you. They gonna plan. Okay, bye. I'm just playing, bro, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You feel me? Let me know some fragrances that are very hyped on TikTok that y'all feel the truth about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Let me know some I missed out on. Let me know some that y'all feel are like are just overhated or something like that. Let me know. But uh, yeah, you know, that's gonna be it for today's video. You know what I'm saying? Hope you guys enjoy the rest of y'all day. Hope y'all really do enjoy the rest of y'all day, man. It's a cool, chill day, man. Just enjoy it, bro. Enjoy your family, enjoy everything around you, enjoy the food, enjoy the comfort, enjoy your bed, enjoy everything, bro. 
But um, yeah, y'all. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Hope we get to the rest of y'all day. And peace.